Try again. Good afternoon, fellow dreamers. It is Ned over at My Philippine Dreams, as always, because life here can be a little chaotic at times. I had a few crises this past week, and one of them in particular had to do with Google Voice. If you're not familiar with Google Voice, it is a voice over internet protocol system. It's an app that you install on your phone. You connect to your Wi-Fi, and you're able to call the U.S., to your heart's content. You can call any number. You can call cell phones. You can call landlines. You can call 1-800 numbers. It works effortlessly, seamlessly. The call quality is really good. I use it all the time. I've used it ever since I got here in 2013. And the only problem was the other day I went to use it to call a 1-800 number for the IRS and it didn't work. A little bit of research, and I found out that as of April 1st, Google Voice had taken voice call ability out of the Hangouts app. Now, what happened was when Google Voice first came out, it was Google Voice. Then they transitioned it into Google Hangouts because they were trying to do some social type thing. And that worked great, and that's how it was for many years. But And they had, they had announced this like six months ago, saying that they were going to take the integration out and move it to some other app. But without announcing it, on April 1st, April Fool's Day, they took the integration out and you had to reinstall the old Google Voice app in order to use Google Voice. So far, so good. Not a problem, right? Because I got internet here in the Philippines. I have access to the Play Store on my Android phone. So I went to Play Store. I downloaded Google Voice. And when I fired up Google Voice, it would not allow me to make a phone call, and it was asking me to re-verify my phone number. Now, if you have Google Voice, there's a few things you got to know about it if you've set it up. The first thing is, is basically you have to be in the United States. You have to be in the United States with a phone, with the United States SIM card, because what they do is when you go on to Google Voice to, to sign up for it on, on the Google site, they're going to send you a... An OTP, which is a one-time password, in order to verify that you're actually in the United States using an American phone with an American SIM, because they don't want people around the world using Google Voice to be able to call the United States for free because it would overwhelm their networks. So those are some pretty stringent requirements. You have to be in the United States. You have to have an American SIM because they're going to send you that OTP, that one-time PIN, in order to verify that it's actually you there in the country. Now, the problem was, one of the many problems was, the first problem was my response to it because everything here has been freaking me out lately. I'm all stressed out. So I start freaking out. I'm like, I can't make any calls to landlines, 1-800 numbers, anything anymore. And I don't have that phone anymore. I haven't had that phone since 2013 that I initially set up my Google Voice account with. I haven't had that SIM or that phone number since 2013 when I first set up Google Voice when I moved to the Philippines. So this was a big problem. This was freaking me out. So what I did was I reached out for help. I went to my Facebook page for Philippine Dreams and I wrote, need some help calling U.S. banks, investment companies, DMV, IRS, toll-free and similar landlines. WhatsApp, Viber and Messenger don't work for calling those. Google Hangouts stopped allowing voice calls over its system on April 1st without any warning. It was a great app for making free calls to the United States, but now you need to install Google Voice on your phone and re-verify your USA mobile phone number, which I no longer have. So until I get back to the U.S., get a burner phone SIM, I can no longer make easy free calls to any USA phone number. Can anyone recommend an Android VOIP app, free or paid, that does everything Google Voice does. Call any USA number for free, toll-free, sell, landline, etc. I also need to be able to use it for bank verification stuff, OTPs, and things like that. I don't have a magic jack, so that is not an option. Then I did a little update after that. I just activated my VPN for a US IP address, and the Google Voice app did not ask me to re-verify my phone number. Call to a US toll-free number it now seems to be working. The only problem was I could call the number, but after about five to eight minutes, it would disconnect. Now, we had been having problems with our internet for a little while, and bottom line, to make a long story short, that was the actual issue with the disconnects. We were having a lot of packet loss. Um, our PLDT connection was timing out, and about three hours later, the blinking red light of death came on on our modem, and we had loss of signal. Uh, quick shout out. 
to PLDT. I called their 171 number and reported it. They filed it. And they said somebody should be there within four to five business days to fix it. They were there about 16 hours later. The very next day, the little white van pulled up with the ladders and our line had been cut somehow. They repaired it. They put us on a new box. So everything is good. So my Google Voice now is working, but it's working a little bit differently. It's no longer asking me. Every time I use my Google Voice, it's no longer asking me to re-verify my number. But I notice that usually I can only call people in the U.S. They cannot call me. If they call me, what it does is it goes to voicemail, the Google voicemail, and they transcribe it and they send me that conversation in the form of an email. And the transcription is usually pretty good and then I can call the person back at a later point. Now, after their update and after going back to the old Google Voice app, people can actually call me here in the Philippines. It comes to me direct. I answer the phone. I'm like, hey, person in U.S., how are you doing? So that's pretty convenient, that's pretty cool. Um, and it's also got caller ID, so I can see who's calling me, so I can screen my calls, because there's some people in America I don't wanna to talk to, and they really don't wanna to talk to me. So in response to the request for help that I put on my Philippine Dreams page, a lot of people said, hey Ned, it's easy, just use Skype. Ned, it's not a problem, use WhatsApp. Ned, it's, it's gonna be okay, use Viber. I've been using it for a long time to call the US and it works great. The only problem is with Skype, with Magic Jack, with Talk Free, Text Free, all those things, you cannot receive what are called short code. Those are the, um, when you're trying to make a transaction with Amazon, Cash App, your bank, any type of thing like that, a lot of times they'll ask you to verify your identity, two-factor authorization, and they'll send you an OTP over your phone. And what they do is they send a short code. Uh, for example, Amazon, when I get messages from Amazon, it's 25392. When Cash App is 28581. Facebook is 32655. Citibank is 95686. So those are short codes. And Magic Jack, WhatsApp, Viber, Skype, all of these cannot do short codes. They can only do long code phone numbers. I don't know why they do that. Probably to cut down on traffic or maybe to cut down on people illegally using their systems to perform malicious activities with these institutions. But that's the problem. So not having Google Voice, not being able to get my one-time passwords, not being able to do two-factor authorization, not being able to call toll-free numbers, not being able to call landlines was a big problem. Thankfully, as I know I've been going on, babbling on here for a bit, it finally got all worked out. The, the real problem with the disconnect after I got it going was our internet. Our internet is now fixed. My Google Voice is working again, and it's actually working better than it did before because with Hangouts, when it was integrated into Hangouts, people could not call you directly from the United States. Now they can call you directly, which is pretty freaking cool. Now, I don't know if Google is going to be doing any further changes to this, but I've taken Google Voice for granted. I know a lot of people have problems with Google and Big Brother and Android and all that, but as far as comms between... Americans anywhere in the world and, the, and people in the United States, institutions, agencies, government programs, or whatever in the United States. It is the most efficient and best way to communicate with them. Hands down. Skype, no. Magic Jack, no. WhatsApp, Viber, things like that. Every, you can only do one on cell phones and they have to have the Viber or WhatsApp activated on theirs. Magic Jack is good but it can't do the short codes. Same thing with Skype. Skype is, I mean, with Skype you can call, you can get an American number and you can call toll-free numbers and stuff like that in the United States. But it also cannot do short codes. It can't do the one-time passwords. So I can't overstress the importance of Google Voice enough. I know it sounds kind of petty. It sounds like a small thing, but being able to communicate when you want with who you want to discuss whatever you want is very important. So if you are an American anywhere in the world uh, and you're trying to make calls on Hangouts, it's not gonna work, install the Google Voice app, 
just ignore the re-verify thing. Um, restart your phone, and it should work, and it's working well. And again, people can call you directly, so that's cool. If you are contemplating traveling, if you're in the United States right now, and you do not have a Google Voice account, and you are contemplating traveling anywhere in the world, make sure you set up at least one Google Voice account in the United States before you leave. When I go back to the U.S., I only have one right now because I gave another one to a buddy of mine. So make sure you set up at least two because once you leave the United States, it's free phone calls back to the U.S. over Wi-Fi, over data. The sound quality is excellent. It's a lot better than Skype. It's a lot better than WhatsApp, Messenger, all that. Although, of course, you can't do video calling with it, which you can with Messenger, which is the only reason I have Facebook. So again, thanks to all the people that responded, uh, telling me that I should use WhatsApp, Viber, Skype. Um, somebody recommended Line 2. I think Line 2 actually works, but it's pretty expensive. It's like 15 bucks a month. And I was just looking for something simple that could integrate into my phone and that I could call, you know, landlines, 1-800 numbers, all that stuff. All right, we're getting ready to go to the beach. Tomorrow we are having a 12-hour brownout from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. So we're going to be some traveling, hit some resorts up north. So I'll be taking the family unit out to the north to try to go someplace nice, taking uh, this one and that one and, and the other one. We actually went up to Cebu. I haven't done that video yet. We actually went up to Cebu a couple weeks ago to the consulate. She filed for Zoe's citizenship. And her passport, I love the picture of her passport photo was the best. Mm -hmm. She's wearing a hoodie and she looks like a gangster. It's pretty funny. I guess, I know, I know a lot of you guys aren't parents or anything. And I'm going through this whole baby thing. So, mm -hmm. so that's it with the Google Voice. Um, if you have Google Voice now, it still works. The, just skip through the re-verification part. People can now call you directly. Um, if you don't want to take the call, just decline it. it. Goes to voicemail, and they send a transcription to you. If you haven't set up Google Voice and you're in the, in the United States and you're thinking of doing any type of international traveling at all, make sure you set it up now. It's easy to do. I'll actually put a little down in the video description box. I'll put a link on how to set it up. Uh, the important thing is you have to be in the United States. You used to be able to get around that by using a VPN, but Google's got slick to that, so you can't do that anymore. So you're going to be in the United States. You're going to have a phone, a SIM card with a number because they're going to send you that one-time password to verify that it's actually you. Once it's set up, you're good to go, and the dream can continue. So until next time, this is Ned. Chi-chi. That's baby Zoe. Puppies, rainbows, unicorns, and effective calms for all. We'll see you next time on My Philippine Dreams. Time to go to the beach. Zoe, look. What's that? You got your purple ball. Wow. Zoe's, Zoe's got my head, but Chi Chai's oh. face. Peace out. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. This is Ned over at my fellow pink. Blah, 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 blah. Mm, try again. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It is Ned. Oh. I'm already sweating. I'm already sweating through my shirt. Harry. Hey, if you consider our work to be of any value, consider supporting us on Patreon. If you're a Patreon, you get a free copy of my ebook, and we do monthly Google Hangouts. So consider doing that, if you would, please. <laughs>